everyone. Today I'm doing a review of Pear OS. It's a Linux distribution. So, yeah. It's, well, first of all, Pear OS is designed to look like Mac OS X. Yeah, Mac OS X. So, you can kind of see some of the similarities. And instead of using Apple, they use Pear. So that's why it's called Pear OS 8. So now I can sign in. That's not password. Okay, so I'm logged in and my background should be coming up. Okay, there it is. So this uh, distribution is based off of Ubuntu 13.10 and this is it. You can see it resembles OS X a lot. So let's start up here. Mm-mm. I don't know what just happened, but I'm hoping that my desktop comes back up. So this is the pair thing I can see about this computer, lock it, I'm logged in, restart, shut down, log out, all of that stuff. That's for email, that's for battery, that's for your network, sound options. Actually my sound doesn't work in pair OS 8, so that's pretty unfortunate. There's the calendar and notification thing, but I don't have any notifications right now, so nothing's showing there. And I have no clue what happened to my desktop. But anyway, this is one cool thing about this distribution is that it has its own it has its own applications. So like OS X has its own software, Pear has it, and I'll open up some of that. So here's files. This is actually just the same file manager, just styled like Mac OS X, so I can go into things. Here's my desktop that's not loading. Yeah, but I can go into things and see all of my files there. I have Launchpad. Launchpad is just, uh, it shows all of your applications. So, uh, it's actually picking up on some applications that I have from Google Chrome, like Rad Soldiers, Pixlr Touch Up, uh, Type Foo. So, those are just some of them that I have on Chrome. There's the Firefox web browser telling me there's an update. And that's where this comes in. I can see it in the notification thing. Firefox web browser. I'll know what that does. Oops. Thunderbird mail. Go away, Firefox. <laughs> Thunderbird mail is for email. Okay, let me get out of this. Okay. Okay, my desktop came back. So yeah, I have computer and home. Those are both things I can get to from file. So that was Thunderbird. Shotwell. Image. Actually, Mozilla, Thunderbird, and Shotwell are not pair specific. But this one is. Music is the pair OS 8 web. Not web. Music thing. I don't have any music, so... I can't show that to you too much. Pair contacts. 
you can add contacts, pair cloud. I actually want to go through and set pair cloud up. So I'll do that probably after I finish this video. Pair PPA Manager, for those of you who are into Linux, know how to do all the PPA stuff. This is for you. Clean my pair. Automatic cleanup. I can just clean up all of the junk if my computer, if this OS starts getting slow, can scan and then clean it. System settings, just the Ubuntu system settings. Trash, uh, what is? So, uh, I think trash is like the recycling bin, or maybe when you delete something. I don't know, I haven't deleted anything yet. Let's see, my pair 6. My pair 6 is pretty cool. So, he, this is basically where all the, where a lot of your theming can come from. Computer icon, this is for the desktop, so that computer icon disappears. Home icon can disappear. Mounted volumes, uh, that's not on there. Probably because I don't have any, a USB stick or anything. Trash icon, I could put that on the desktop. Change the font size. Auto hide panel, that's the top panel. So it can go away. I can make it come back by going up there. Also, if you notice, uh, some things may not have a menu here, and that menu will be up here for the application you're using. Show notification count, I actually want that. And that's going to show how many not notifications you have. Show Bluetooth, show date, show seconds. And that's seconds of the time. I don't want that. Themes. This is actually something that's coming soon. So, um, I mean, I'm not too excited for it because I got this operating system because I like the look of it. So, I mean, but hey, if you want themes, you've got themes. Your dock, you can change the theme from 3D to 2D. I don't think anyone likes the 2D theme, to be honest. I can hide it just like I can hide my panel. It's not hiding now, but if I go into Firefox... Wow, it's not hiding at all. I don't know why it's not working, but it'll go away just like the panel. You have to move your mouse down there to get it. Dock size. Adjusting the size. Position. You can put it on any spot that you want. And then you can offset that position also. Notifications, I can choose where they come in. They actually come in on the top right, <clears throat> but I can make it on the top left, yeah, there it is, middle, bottom, anywhere I want, I'll keep it on the top right for now, in hot corners, those are corners where if you move your mouse to that corner, something will happen, so mission control, mission control is if I have multiple programs open, if I just move to that corner, I can see all of them, and I can manage them from here. And that's pretty cool for productivity, because, you know, it's not like Windows where you just have all of your things, but, you know. This hot corner desktop switcher, one cool thing about Linux is that it has desktops. I don't really know multiple desktops I don't really know any other operating system that has those but I found many Linux distributions have them so let's say I'm doing stuff here like this is my work desktop and then when I'm done with work I can come down here and go to my play desktop where I do all of my other stuff and you can see the programs that are in it also Mm, 
Uh, the other one, custom. I don't know how to use commands and none. Nothing will happen. Whoa, five notifications. What's that about? Oh, <laughs> test notifications. And you can see what applications sent you notifications. And I guess while I'm at it, I can do gaming performance on here. So let me open up Minecraft, which I'm actually going to put on my desktop. So Minecraft, open with Java. And this operating system is fairly fast, to be honest, because it's running on like 1.9 gigahertz right now on only two cores of my computer, and it is keeping up with what I'm doing, so that's good. Also, one thing I'll mention is that I'm actually not screen recording from this operating system exactly. I'm doing it from Windows because I'm running in virtual machine. Seems like the sound's working now. But yeah, I'm doing it in Windows from virtual machine because I found out that using Kazam on here just slowed down my performance a lot. Create new world. Okay. I'll probably change some video settings also to make it run smoother cuz I've never played Minecraft where it's like 60 frames per second. People with those computers are just amazing. I didn't even think that was possible. Yeah, it's not even loading. Very well. No fancy graphics. No smooth lighting, no clouds, render distance, eight chunks, <laughs> unlimited, and particles decreased. And now I should notice increased performance. Not fast at all, by any means, but hey, this is Minecraft. It's running at 0 FPS, 2, 2 to 0 FPS on here. But hey, depending on you and your setup and what options you choose to have the virtual box run in, like I said, mine is like on 1.9 gigahertz. And two cores. And yeah, that's not very good. Well, not that's not good. It's just not that fast. And this has been Pair OS 8. Uh, I actually like it a lot. Some people don't like it. They're like, it's buggy and all of that. I haven't encountered any bugs. Some people have had the bug where if you're hovering over thing, the, if you're hovering over it, the title and the black there won't finish, but I haven't had that problem on Pair OS 8. I've actually had it on Ubuntu 13.10, so that's good for me. I haven't seen it here. And other than that, I haven't experienced any bugs, except I've heard one about the Pair Updater, 
in the pair updater bug is where it says you have an update, but you don't. And actually, I almost forgot. This is one of the coolest things about it. You know how on Windows 7 you have the little start orb and you click it and you can just search for anything? Whoa. Come back. Okay, there we go. Well, this is basically like that, just better. So let's say I wanted to open Google Chrome. I type in Chrome, hit enter, and... It should load Chrome. There we go. It was a bit slow. Um, I can do the same thing for another app. Let's say I wanted to load the music app. I hit that enter. There it is. I can even search for stuff on the web like uh, define Logie. And I can search for it in Wolfram Alpha, Google, Google Maps right there instantly it's working that is one cool feature about this and i if i ever switch to another distribution of linux i'd miss it because i mean ubuntu it does have it it's just not as good and as fast as this and i can even search for cities or places like spain google maps and right there it's loading spain I mean, how cool is that? So yes, this has been uh, Pair OS 8. I highly recommend it. This is actually my favorite Linux distribution. So far I've tried Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Lubuntu, and now Pair OS 8. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, please subscribe, share this video, like if you like it. <laughs> comment i love feedback but most of all thanks for watching